period in which our game takes place, 1511 to 1512, is kind of a transitional period for the Ottoman Empire. And this is the period before the great golden age or the, the high point of Suleiman the Magnificent's reign. This was a period where we got to really play around with our imagination. One of the interesting challenges with Revelations is that Ezio is very much a fish out of water in the Ottoman Empire. He wants to meet people who will help him achieve his own goals, which is to get into Altair's library. But apart from that, he wants to kind of stay out of the mix. So Ezio in the Revelations is uh, following the steps of Altair is going back where Altair was raised. So there is a connection we can make between Altair and the last Ezio. He has to blend into the new setting. So um, during his journey, I think he, he tried to live the life of Altair. Ezio in Revelation is more like an old wolf. He's more focused, he's darker, he's wiser. He's more a killing machine like Altair was. In Revelations, Altair does return for a number of playable sequences. And we think that fans will be satisfied with the, the conclusion of his story. But uh, this is definitely an Ezio game, and this is Ezio's story. So we are in Venice, California, recording Roger Craig Smith, our beloved Ezio. Robert. It is very good. <laughs> Peter? Uh, solid. Solid? Solid. Right. Yeah. Without the diction guy, I'm, uh, I'm nothing. Uh, <clears throat> keep your... <laughs> keep, <laughs> all right, that was good. Hey, there are changes happening to my body. It's very strange. One of the things we're most pleased with with Revelations is the time and care we put into the, the conclusion of our assassin's stories. The send-off we give to our two assassins. We think fans are going to be extremely pleased with what we've done. I think we'll leave fans very, very satisfied.